format is dedicated to having interesting, insightful conversations and learning about different countries who are here in Ghana now to actually master their craft and also teach our people when it comes to fish farming. You know, my name is Anyonam and this week we're all the way in Flow Cell. The whole of this month, you'll be watching my interviews with different African countries that have arrived in Ghana and are doing practical internship in the area of aquaculture. So seated next to me now, or I find myself in between Uganda and Zimbabwe. And on my right is George, who is an extension officer in the area of fisheries that help farmers to establish farms, to do their marketing, their everything that has to do with having a successful farm is what he stands for. And here with me is Chido, who is doing her MPhil still in the area of aquaculture, but she's here to actually enhance her practical knowledge when it comes to the aquaculture sector before you arrive in Zimbabwe. So hello, sir. Hello. George. Yes, that's my What name. is the full name again? Uh, George William Okrol. George William Okrol. Yes. From Uganda. From Uganda, yes. You're most welcome. Thank you. Is this your first time in Ghana? Yeah, it's my first time in Uganda. That's uh, in Ghana. That is uh, the land of gold. Ah, I see. Yes. You mentioned it well. Yeah. And here, I have my dear lady from Zimbabwe. What's your name? My name is Chilo Mushaninga. Chilo Mushaninga. Yes. Am I correct? Chilo. <laughs> Today I am finished. <laughs> is this your first time in Ghana? Yes, it is. It's okay, how time. are you finding the place? It's it's amazing. It's um hot, but okay. I'm I'm loving it. Is Zimbabwe cold than Ghana? Uh, I, I I'd like to think so. Really? Mm, I think also the the different types of heat. Are different. <laughs> so are our different. heat is very. It's heat. also very moist. Okay. So yeah, the bad is a bit dry. So I, I think that's how different. All right, so let me start with you. You are a student? Yes. Or you graduated from school? I am. Um, I graduated my undergrad okay. and I'm, I'm about to finish my master's degree now. Hey, small girl in the end, big uh, <laughs> this thing. Master's degree. <laughs> so what, you study um, undergrad and what? Uh, uh, fishery science and aquatic science. Okay, and presently you're studying what? I'm studying, um, here, I'm doing an MPhil okay. in uh, tropical ecology and biodiversity. Is nature. that what you wanted to study? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is not what you taught me. You said I wanted to be a pharmacist. I wanted to be. How a did a pharmacist switch to become um, a fisheries person? No, I wanted. I loved chemistry, so I wanted to be a pharmacist. Okay. Um, and then, but my dad was like, "No, this is the this is a new um programs that people are doing. They're no. innovative. Yeah, okay. people they're not so um they don't a lot of people are not into them yet. No. So he's like, no, you you can put the pharmacy.'" In the first uh, choice, but you should put the fisheries and second. Okay. And then I went to school. They said no pharmacy is full, so you need to go to second. Oh one. my so goodness! And that's why you ended up there. there. Yeah. All right, my dear George. Yes, yes. You are not a farmer, but an extension yeah. officer yes. in aquaculture. Yes. When we say extension of an aquaculture, what role do you play in that space? Okay, in that space, um, somebody you could easily get to if you want to start a fish farm. Okay. Somebody you could get get to if you want to get a certification for the fish farm because right. you need to do the environmental impact assessment. Okay. If you're having issues with water quality, uh -huh. you can also look at that. Okay. As well as if you have anything you need on the farm from fingering, fry, nets, you look at uh, looking for market for your fish. Mm -hmm. So it's like an all-round uh, aspect, okay. but more like in private terms, not in government mm -hmm. terms. Okay. Yes. All right. So you are a private extension officer. Yes. So you move from farm to, to farm. farm. Yeah. Okay, um, from where you come from, Uganda, yes. how big is the aquaculture sector in your country? Uh, I think currently we're producing over 1,200 1, tons okay. of, of the tonnage. And our projection is produced like a million tons annually because right. uh, we have a lot of uh, redundant water, natural water resources which are fresh. Okay. And also we have a lot of people who are highly interested. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so after university, have you worked with any farm, or this is the first practical farm you're working with? This is the first practical farm that I'm working with. Really? Yes. How many days have you been since you arrived here? Uh, it's been 20 days. 20 days? Yes. So what were the initial things you were introduced to that you haven't learned in the classroom? Uh, the, I think the feeding of fish. Feeding? Yes, okay. and also how to um, introduce hormones to 
the fish feed. Okay. Yeah, I've done a bit of um, water quality testing. Um, yeah, and also how to take um, eggs from the fish, okay. separating them, grazing and sorting for fries wow. and eggs. Yeah. How would you describe the experience you're going through here? It's fascinating. It's a lot of work, but when you're a fisheries student, you see this fish as your babies. Mm. So you kind of, you love it. Mm. Yeah, so it's, it's good. Okay. What is the interest level of young people in Zimbabwe finding themselves in this space? Is it, is it so huge or people still want to do like you wanted to do pharmacists? Uh -huh. How is the interest rate like? Now it's uh, getting bigger because people uh, that have studied it before mm -hmm. through YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, they now start small schools okay. trying to teach different people from different communities, yeah. just the basics. Okay. So now it's getting... Um, Interesting. Yes. Okay. And a lot of people are getting into it now. I see. Yeah, you are not being forced anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, George, yes. here in Ghana, yeah. one of our challenge has to do with um, the availability of farmers assessing experts like you, yeah. extension officers, to come to their farms and assist them or guide them, direct them on what and what not to do. Yes. How is the practice like in Uganda? Do you have enough extension officers who are attending to all farmers or how is it like i think um, the biggest issue with the uh, fisheries is uh -huh. most people who do either the bachelors or diplomas mm -hmm. or the masters mm -hmm. their first um, attitude towards fisheries is i want to go and do lake fisheries okay. they are moving to looking at the wild catches mm -hmm. the biggest issue is that there are very few people who are trying to go into aquaculture mm -hmm. so we're almost having the same similar story okay. we have a high tonnage of right. uh let me say professionals coming out of the universities or institutions mm -hmm. but their choice of career has only become specification is the okay. biggest issue okay. so we still have a, a bit of lagging when it comes to extension service provision mm. but um we're having a, lo a lot of trainings being encouraged because i was encouraged to come here mm. so that i can learn and become better so in that way i can go back and also read the information mm. so mm. that gap is trying to be covered by also trying to get even more farmers to learn more so that they can do farm on farm extension right. as well okay yes now over there in the uganda do farmers call on you or you have to go to them how is the relationship like and mm. how often do you see extension officers walking to farms and helping farmers to do things the right way i think ever since the uh, social media boom uh -huh. we have more farmers trying to call in mm. and also the extension workers trying to find out how is your fish okay. yes you took feed it was supposed to last two months right. i mean the you, you you're in the second month almost many 10 days mm. do you have enough feed for the next let me say 20 days to check up on them because mm. that uh back and fro exchange of information mm. enables us keep the sector right. vibrant and actually mm. working well okay yes so in zimbabwe um how big is the fishery sector is it that big as compared to ghana uh, I think it's, uh, it's bigger here. It's bigger here yes, than in yes, Zimbabwe. Yes, yes. Okay. When it comes to farming, what do you do on a major scale in Zimbabwe? Uh, it's crops. Crops. Um, you do more we, crops. We do more of maize. Okay. Yes. Than the aquaculture. And, and also over there, do you do both marine and this one, or you do just one side? It's just aquaculture in Zimbabwe. There's no sea. There's no sea. Yes. Ah, yeah, let's swim. Like, I'm a master swimmer. So when I can, I will not go to the beach. No, there's no fish. It's hey. just so dry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot swim well when you go to Zimbabwe. All right. So now that you are here, are you here to actually major the experience with this or you're looking forward to learning the one that is done in the stream of your vacation? Yeah, I want to do more of the um, of the ponds. The pond? Yes. Compared to the fish. Yes, so that okay. when I go back home, mm -hmm. I can not have a say, He's already having a farm, and right. my mother too. Okay. So I just need to start implementing what I've learned right. the year uh -huh. there. Okay. See, I'm going to get all the practical um, knowledge that I, I can get. Like okay. From the feed uh -huh. to the type of uh, species mm -hmm. and water quality mm -hmm. and... Um, Layout of the farm, okay. the different types of corn to use, yeah. nets and everything. Yeah. So I think this is a very big opportunity for me to okay. then go home and yeah. then start doing it. What is it that they are so? I was about to ask you that here in Ghana we do a lot of fishes, from the red fish to the tilapia to the catfish and many others. In Zimbabwe, what's the story like? Is it the same thing? Uh, there is a lot of tilapia. Okay. Um, the red fish is mostly during the rain season and it's just found in the streams. The red fish is also there. Okay. Yeah. So catfish, it's not 
It's not red it's not like, red. It's not like red. you do for tilapia. Yes, yes. Okay, how about Uganda? What's the system like? Uh, for Uganda, I think we majorly look at uh, tilapia, uh -huh. catfish, then uh, miracle in that hierarchy okay. that most people do tilapia and has the largest market okay. followed by catfish then right. mirror cup as well okay yes. but what are some of the common challenge that you have identified or realized within the fishery sector in uganda i think one of the biggest challenges is still the feed because uh, -huh. uh we find it the, the feed price is still going high and then when you look at the prices for let me say a kilogram of fish uh -huh it's not going that high as much so okay. it's cutting onto the farmers profits as well as um, sometimes you have issues uh, sometimes with uh, hatcheries whereby you're having people getting your fish that's not going that fast as you want okay. yes all right so as an extension officer how important is your work or your role in the success of my farm if i'm a fish farmer and uh, do i necessarily need to have your service on my farm I think when we go back to the five principles of aquaculture management, okay. when you look at, uh, you say water, you look at the fish, you look at the feed, you look at the management right. and the market. Okay. We need to uh, understand one thing that most farmers are not that competent to do water quality tests. Right. So at the end of the day, you need somebody who can do that for you. Right. What we look at as uh, private extension workers is, we know you can't have us on, on the farm on a month okay. fully through. But we can have an understanding whereby I could come, let me say, once a month or twice a month, just look at your systems, a system and tell you, you know, okay, you're going wrong, let's improve this, let's improve that. That way, I ensure that you're successful, but also I don't cut on to your profit that okay. much. Yes. Okay. Your father encouraged you that there's a lot of potential, like it's a niche area, so you should actually take advantage of it. Um, so for these years you study your undergraduate, you're not doing your MPL, as you keep exploring the educational part of this, is that true? Is that a true reflection of what your dad can give you about? Yes, yes, very much. Okay. okay. So just to uh, contribute to, okay. the, to the nation and okay. life, um, a lot of fish uh, is also important. A lot of mackerel, oh. there are a lot of uh, cuts of mackerel that go to Zimbabwe mm -hmm. just to um, add to the fish that is there, mm -hmm. to uh, supplement to the need of fish. There. Okay. So it would be a good thing if I then go and start it, uh, not only for the money, right. to, pre to create employment, uh, especially for the young ladies, okay. that to, so that they know that they can also venture in. Okay, we are wrapping up our interview. But my last question is Are you studying to become a farmer or an expert like George? I'm still trying to figure out as I uh, do my, my, my internship mm -hmm. here, I'm trying to see whether. Is con because you don't really need to be a farmer. Okay. You can be a, consul a consultant. Exactly. Yeah? There, like I said, there are a lot of uh, aquaculture small farms now in Zim. Yeah. But are they experts? Mm -hmm. No. So I can be there now to right. do what he does. Okay. Be a consultant. Right. Or I can go mm -hmm. and be a farmer. Or mm -hmm. I can be both because okay. I have the knowledge uh -huh. and I'm able uh -huh. to do it. Exactly. Yes. Awesome, awesome. George. Yes. So when, when fish farming is mentioned, or when agriculture is mentioned, yes. a lot more of the people think it's about the, you know, tilling the land, the tractor, being on the sun. And as an expert, whose work is to do a lot more of technical stuff and paperwork and technology? Is it paying? Does it pay? It pays. Okay. But I think in the end, we have to understand one thing. Hmm. You can't get money by sitting back and waiting okay. you have to look for the customers and also your customers will look for uh, you uh, aquaculture pays uh -huh. just as you may think as a poultry pays as any other business but you have to invest to get out mm -hmm. if you are an excel extension worker you're a consultant mm -hmm. you need to get out to your customers you need to find out what they need okay. you need to serve the market mm -hmm. then uh, if you're a farmer you need to know what do i need on the farm because it uh, one of the biggest uh, wrong ideas is that my fish is there in the pond nobody will steal it and then you're like you know what i can feed my fish once a day yeah and then it will go to okay. this amount this grammage this, yes so you have to know what is required to go to that grammage right. at the end of the day so okay. for anything to pay whether you're doing let me say 
you, you're doing agriculture, whether you're a businessman selling a shop, mm -hmm. you have to invest. Okay. You have to put in to get out. Right. Yes. That's true. All right. Lastly, if any person is watching you globally, because we have people watching us from UK, US, Australia, Canada, everywhere in the in the world, including the African countries, and the person is inspired by what you have said. Um, if I'm coming to Uganda to invest, which area would you recommend and why? I think currently, I would say generally agriculture. Agriculture. Agriculture, and then um, you can go to into aquaculture because right. aquaculture is still a new field okay. generally with, with, within Africa right. and particularly in Uganda. Okay. The agriculture mm -hmm. on the issue that we really have arable land which can be used mm -hmm. and the people there actually we have uh, the, most of the tribes mm -hmm. are into agriculture so you can easily get the local stuff to work for you. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of extension work actually who are moved into general agriculture mm -hmm. so from crop science, animal husbandry, uh, soil science mm -hmm. so you can find them already there. Yes. All right. So, uh, that George for you from Uganda. George, the full name is George. George William Okroll. <laughs> John William. If you if I don't remember, I cry. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> John William Okro from Uganda. He's an extension officer in the area of fish farming, and he's here in Flow Cell. Kind to see who sponsored your your training. Uh, our spon our training is being sponsored by the american soybean association and uh, that is sa and okay. wish which okay. is more a uh, world initiative for right. soy health uh, in humans okay yes. so wish is here once more thank you very much wish for the great great work you're doing encouraging young people to find their food in the area of aquaculture what will be your last word to young people who are watching you from Zimbabwe and Namibia because those two places are where you spend your time the most. What would you tell them? Uh, that the key thing is to start. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't start, you won't go anywhere. If you are afraid, you won't go anywhere. I'm mm -hmm. going to the other part of Africa, but I find myself here mm -hmm. because um, I took away all the fear and I just want to start. Mm -hmm. So this, as long as you start, you will get some. Okay. But what would you advise if someone investing? Invest, if I should come to Zimbabwe, what would you advise me to invest in? Which area? Which sector? Agriculture. Oh my goodness. Agriculture. Yes. Oh my goodness. Mostly in crop, uh -huh. the crop section. Okay. Um, aquaculture is good, but you will not get your money right now. Like okay. the, it takes time, okay. and it says the lab in question for it to then be, be to get the okay. Yeah. All right. So, Chido, aka Zimbabwe, Namibia. <laughs> a pharmacist and a fisheries person, thank you to see her father. Who is holding your training? Which organization? ASA. Wish. Okay. All right. So shout out to you, Wish. ASA. Shout out to you for helping a lot of young people to come to Flow Cell and get training. My name is Senyonam. If there's one common thing in this conversation, is the similarities that we have when it comes to fish farming. They have the pond, they do a bit of catfish, a bit of uh, tilapia, and a few other things. Technology, everything. We have a lot of similarities. We should explore, not just Ghana, but there is Uganda and there is Zimbabwe to explore. I'll see you next week. Until then, it's a bye for now. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Zimbabwe. Thank you. You're welcome.